Hello, John. Thank you for inviting me and for giving me an opportunity to, uh, to show you all these marvelous products, which 2,000 supermarkets in England are going to be selling, I think, from tomorrow on. And everybody can now contribute to the well-being of a child and can, in fact, stop a child from suffering just by buying one product will, will you know, help many children. The money for these products go to UNICEF. In fact, they've already been pledged by the uh, companies themselves. And a chocolate bar can vaccinate a child or give them the vitamins they need to stop them from going blind. More than 20 years ago, you practically dropped out of public life. You stopped making films. You almost stopped making films. Now you've put yourself back in the public eye. Presumably you feel pretty strongly about the cause you're supporting. Well, yes, I, I sort of withdrew, as, as you were saying, because I wanted to take care of my children. And now I'm back <laughs> on the road, but it's still for children. Skeptics would suggest that a film star who dresses in designer clothes and who stays at the world's top hotels presents an image of affluence that perhaps ill-fits starving children of Africa. How would you reply to that? Well, obviously, I don't agree. First of all, I do stay in luxurious hotels, but these hotels always give us our, our apartment or our rooms. Um, airlines give us tickets because we can't afford them. UNICEF cannot afford them. Many of my clothes are gifts. Um, it, it is not... Uh, it's more to it than meets the eye. It's not, it's not the clothes, but it's, the, I hope, the heart that's under the clothes that matters. And where do you plan to go next, Audrey, in your role as a UNICEF Special Ambassador? Well, uh, in September I have several trips. In October I'm going to Australia and Bangladesh and Bangkok. Well, I wish you luck with your campaign. Many thanks indeed for talking to us this morning, Audrey Hepburn. Thank you very much.